I have accomplished many things in my Beastorm career. I completed the hardest quest in Beastorm history, which took two weeks. I completed Beastorm the way Anna intended it, which took 22 days. And I guess that wasn't enough suffering for me. So in this video, I will be surviving Beastorm Simulator Hardcore for seven days. Probably the hardest challenge which I've ever done. Ah, a fresh account, a fresh start, and most importantly, day one. I will have to survive in Beastorm Simulator without dying for the next seven days. So let's hatch the basic egg. My first bee is a basic bee, not really surprised there. I only want to suffer a little bit, not too much. Codes are really going to benefit me inside of this video. Got myself 15,000 honey. Oh, stubborn bee, hello. I've got three more eggs, so I can instantly unlock the 5B area. Black Bear, how you doing, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. Sunflower starts. Hopefully, I don't forget to do that. But while I'm here, let's use a jelly. I got a Brave Bee. What can I say? Getting scammed as always. There are a few goals which I want to accomplish before the end of this video. Before I finish this video, I do have some goals which I want to accomplish. One of them is to kill the Tunnel Bear. It's going to be really risky. And if I die, this whole video ends. But I think I have to do it for the content. Another thing I want to do, which isn't as risky, is to finish the Mother Bear questline. I want to get her star treat. This red lava, if I fall into it, this whole video ends. Well, I guess I'm just gonna- I guess I'm just gonna have to risk it. And the risk paid off. I got myself a free royal jelly. Beautiful. And since I'm here, might as well buy a better backpack. There's quite a few free Beastorm resources around the map, so if you ever plan on playing on a new account, keep that in mind. And I got my first egg from Black Bear. Thanks, man. Maybe I can get a Mythic Bee from this. It does say there's a chance. Oh, it's a rascal bee. It ain't a mythic, but close enough, right? My only goal right now is to get myself 10 bees, and I'll explain why. There's a really good pineapple code with which I can make millions of honey inside a pineapple patch. But I gotta unlock pineapple patch first before using it, obviously. I think the fastest way I can unlock the 10 bee area is by using this code. It's called Wink, and I get times 7 dandelion boost. Well, not really. It's only 4x. Back in the day, it used to be times 7. I got myself 44,000 honey. Is that enough for three more eggs? Okay, that's enough for only two. So here's a basic bee, and here's another basic bee. And let's jelly my basic bee. I got a demo bee. Puckers. And I can afford my 10th egg. So the code I was talking about is the 10 million members code. As you can see, I get pineapple patch code. And an even better code is Walmart Toys. So this gives me another pineapple patch code buff and pineapple wins. I'm getting like 2,500 honey per second. Considering I instantly got that much honey, let's buy a better backpack. And a better tool, the super scooper. It's like reinvesting my profits on the spot, because I know I'm gonna make so much more honey with this. 195,000 honey should be enough to buy the compressor. You know what, I don't think there's gonna be a better time to pop a marshmallow bee, so might as well be now. You might think it's a waste, and I kinda regret using the marshmallow bee two seconds ago. But whatever, you gotta enjoy life. And for me to enjoy life, I gotta make a bunch of honey. And to make a bunch of honey, I gotta use a marshmallow bee. Alright, half a million honey. Once more, time to make an upgrade to the electromagnet. Alright, let's go up the elite barrel. So inside a pineapple patch, this brings me to a whole 877,000 capacity. That's a very thick backpack, if you ask me. I, I'm very rich. That's the only way I can describe myself. Let's, let's buy the best tool inside of the shop, the honey dipper. I actually feel like such a pro. I haven't even looked at my badges. So, honey badge? I can claim this once. Quest badge. And pineapple badge. I can claim this twice. And that brings me to a total of 76 tickets. And next, let's get ourselves the hasty guard. This is obviously gonna help me move around faster, which is something I'm gonna need. There's not much to show here. I'm literally just grinding and suffering mentally and physically. So I'm gonna spare you my suffering. Enjoy this time lapse. Okay, I think I've done enough grinding inside a pineapple. Now I'm gonna focus on doing Black Bear quests, starting off with Cobweb Sweeper. This should actually be pretty simple, considering I have the porcelain dipper and this wood barrel backpack. Yeah, and like five swings, I already have 1,000 pollen. Oh my god, spider is killing me because I'm lagging, dude. That was actually really close. Oh, enzymes, nice. Do you ever wonder where all the loot comes from with mobs? Are all the tickets and enzymes that you get after killing them just their insides? Is that what they eat? I probably shouldn't get deeper into this. This is my first time entering the 15B area, and Werewolf is a pretty scary creature. 
You know what, I'm just gonna lead him to this guy. He probably has a bunch of really high level bees, so he can probably kill him for me. Okay, werewolf is dead, let's go. If you guys didn't know, there's actually a gold egg inside of the werewolf cave. I think I can get that gold egg, but there is one problem. If you get the gold egg, you're gonna die, which is something I cannot do. So that's why I have a plan. The plan is simple. It's literally just to leave the game as soon as I get the gold egg. 10x haste. That should be enough to outrun the cave monsters. So let's run in here. The gold egg is right in front of me. I got it, and let's leave! Oh my gosh, I think I did it in time. I've still got my 75,000 pollen. That means the cave monsters didn't kill me. There is a question I've been asking myself. How do I get gumdrops for the propeller hat? Well, the answer is quite simple. The gumdrop dispenser. And we have exactly 25 gumdrops. But at least now I can afford myself the beautiful propeller hat. I look so good. The final thing I want to do for day one is to complete the Ready Player 2 event. I hope this doesn't take too long. Yeah, that took a bit longer than I would prefer, but I got my atomic treat, and most importantly, this star jelly. What will it be? Find out in the next episode of Yorix. Just kidding. Give that frosty be- It's day two, I just woke up, and someone did meteors, which means I have to take advantage of all that free honey and resources. Oh, I haven't done this in so long. Feels so refreshing to do meteors. What a good start to day two. I got the 10 million honey badge. I just noticed I barely have any bees. I only have 17. Four more basic bees to the collection. Beautiful. So basic bee, uh, basic bee. Can I get something that's not a basic bee? Uh, basic bee and a uh, cool bee. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, bucko, nice. Exhausted, fire, nice. And I have unlocked the red HQ. No, oh, strawberry dispenser and free jelly. Very poggers. The next thing I want to do, I really want to go inside of this shop, but I need nine more badges. How quickly can I get nine new badges? Oh, a vicious bee. Looks very intimidating. Yeah, I'm just gonna do like two ticks of damage and run away. That dude can kill it for me. I decided that using a code will be the fastest way to unlock 25 bees. I forgot to record myself using the code, but I got times three pumpkin and the pumpkin patch code and another badge just for me. Well, I finally achieved my goal of unlocking the ace shop. It took like an hour. What more can I say? Only one hour of suffering. And now I need to get my star jelly if Anna even lets me up here. I grinded for an hour. Let me up here on it, please. There we go. My 23rd bee. I think it's only right if I use a star jelly on it. Gifted stubborn, nice. It ain't a gifted mythic bee. You trying to do something strange for a piece of change. Can you provide? Okay. If it works on bee swarm, it's sure to work on women. If you have a crush, just ask her that. You trying to do something strange for a piece of change? It's funny that that actually worked. Don't actually go up to your crush and say that, please. If you do, you're probably getting blocked on every social media platform and she's getting a restraining order against you. The easiest way to survive hardcore bee swarm is literally just to beg for meteors. I was an advocate against all blue backpackers begging for meteors, but now I've learned if you can't beat them, join them. And I got 10 million honey. Was it deserved? No. Am I happy? Also, no. I'm playing Bee Swarm. Obviously, I'm not happy. But what I am happy about is I'm very close to getting 25 bees. I have 10 million honey. I need two more eggs. So one. And I'm barely missing out on the second egg. Basic egg, what will you be? A demo bee. Hello, fellow Bee Swarmers. Howdy. I like silver suck. I mean, soakers. What is the Bee Swarm community turned into? Yes, 250. Hmm, cobalt or crimson? I got crimson. Cobalt is 250% better. I just lied to a child. Do I feel good about it? Most definitely I do. Okay, now I can afford the basic egg. My 25th B! Let's go! Okay, let's hatch the B. Basic B. Let me get something better. No, not liquor, not bomber, uh, not frosty, please. Diamond B! Let's go! A legendary to celebrate getting 25 Bs. And now, since I don't have 25 B types, I have to run for 3 to 5 business days. And look at all these beautiful things the boots, the mask, the belt, the backpack and dipper, the parachute, and the hive slots. But I cannot afford any of it. I'm broke! Okay, you know what? There's only one way to fix it, and that is by grinding. I can officially say screw grinding. Begging for meteors is much easier. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so much honey. 
A hundred moon charms. You know what that means? My first moon amulet. Look at these two robots synchronized AFKing the Sunfield. On that probably makes so much money from AFK noobs. And I can finally afford my glider. Beautiful. Now I don't have to travel like a peasant on foot. And I can buy another hive slot. And which I will place my event to be. Because I cannot afford a basic egg. I'm way too poor for that. Raise a beat to level 7? I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Oh my goodness, someone just hit meteors. I was literally about to close Roblox, but some kind fella decided to spawn meteors. Earlier, I did promise I would get a moon amulet, and I kind of forgot to do that, so it's time to do that now. Beautiful. <laughs> literally not a single boost for pollen. Not one. If you've enjoyed watching so far, please drop a like and subscribe. It really does help support me. And I'll see you on day three. Ah, day three. I got a star jelly here. You can probably tell I was pretty excited. Right about now, I realized how important science bear quests are, and I stopped ignoring them, like my dad ignoring me. One more quest and I get a royal jelly and 17 more, I get a diamond egg. I'm gonna go for that diamond egg, mostly because I want some more legendary bees, so people stop calling me poor, and also because there's a 5% chance it'll be a mythic bee. So yeah, time to get started on doing black bear quests, and along the way, I can probably make a bunch of honey, which is something I need. How do I have two star jelly? Maybe I got it from all the meteor showers I was doing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Let's use this. 3, 2, 1. Gifted honeybee! It's a new bee type and it's gifted. So pog. Oh my god. And frosty bee. What will you become? Gifted rat bee. That is hot garbage. I can't be complaining. It's a gifted bee. One away from the bronze star amulet. Oh my god! Gifted looker bee from normal jelly. What are the chances, dude? Ninja bee. I already have that. Another diamond bee. Please stop giving me duped legendaries. I already have those. Riley bee. Let's go. Honey storm. More tickets for me. I only need however many more for the event bee. I only need a few more for the event bee. I made a video speedrunning Black Bear's quest lines before. What the fuck? The quest was literally just complete. Bro, Ana is stripping. He literally scammed me out of a quest. You guys saw that the quest was complete. Alright, let's hope Ana doesn't scam me out of this quest this time. 16 more for the diamond egg. I'm gonna cop myself the blue guard. I should have got the blue backpack. Gifted Vicious Bee. As I've done before, I did like 5 damage to the Vicious Bee. I'm gonna dip now. Sparkles, I always need royal jelly. Only 12 more quests, and the suffering shall be over. Can I get a new B-type? Uh, no. And also, no. I hate this game. Oh yeah, my favorite quest in all of B-Storm. 300,000 red pollen, Nate pollen from Cactus Field. I think on it might have fell asleep behind this keyboard and accidentally pressed number 8. I hope the cactus part of this quest doesn't take too long. Oh wait, it's done in less than a second. I love Beast Swarm so much for a specific reason. That, the badge that shows how little of a life you have. I've got my first one. At this point, I was 7 tickets away from getting myself my first event B. I probably would have been smart just to buy the tickets from the ticket dispenser, but would that have made good content? I think it would have. But I still didn't do it, because I really enjoy to suffer sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean any time I play Roblox. The search for the white clover. This quest was kind of suffering. Only four more until I get the diamond egg. Not this again! Bro, I get four garbage fields to get pollen from. Why on it? Why? I guess he just loves to see me suffer. And you know what happened to me? I was about to get the wealth clock, and I literally disconnected like two minutes before. There's ways this game scams me that you can't even imagine. I think my bees can actually take on the king beetle. And all I have to do here is AFK from the safety of this corner. Bees form, am I right? Okay, king beetle is on almost dead. It's taken too long. Finally! What is going on? My game is lagging like crazy, but King Beetle said, I need five more tickets for my first event B. Here are the tickets. Will this be enough? Yes! Let's go! Exactly 250 tickets. 
and all of the loot despawned because my internet is complete dog water. And you guys know what that means. My first event B. The choice between these two Bs is way too difficult. I decided to make things easier and ping 20,000 people. Maybe the 10 year olds inside of my server can help me choose. Oh my goodness. I think it's safe to say people want me to buy the Cobalt B. I'm not sure why. And it is done. Hobo B is my first event B in the 7 day hardcore world. Let's hatch this in 3, 2, 1. Wait, I actually want to hear this. Oh, the sound is so beautiful. And you're getting fed an atomic tree. It's instantly level 5 and it gets more energy. Okay, good enough. Yeah, people really prefer the Kobo B. That brings me to 24 types of Bs. But that's not enough. And I think the fastest way I can get that B type is by finishing Blackbird's diamond egg questline and hatching that diamond egg. Oh, I hope this doesn't take too long. I'm hoping this was the last time I had to run up the hill. Maybe after I buy this hive slot and I hatch my diamond egg, I will finally have 25 B types and I can use the red cannon. So yeah, let's hatch this diamond egg. Three, two, one. Oh my God, spicy B. What are the chances? I mentioned getting a mythic bee from Diamond Egg earlier. I actually got a spicy bee. Pretty poggers, as the kids would say. And that's my 25th bee type. I can use the red cannon, and I don't have to suffer anymore. So pog. And that means I can access the star hall, where I might be able to buy my first star amulet. Wait, just kidding. I'm poor. I cannot do that. At least I get 5 free jelly. I've got 32 jelly. Let's try gambling. Maybe get some more legendaries. Baby bee! Nice! The best legendary I could have gotten. It's like a free-to-play bear bee. Oh good, you finished. How did your bees like those pineapples? They hated it. The pineapple went bad. As a reward, I've got something special in store for you. A star egg! Oh my gosh, I need the star egg. What do I need to do? <coughs> this is gonna be suffering. This bubble bee is really close to level 7. And there go half my treats. Let's try and get a mutation on my spicy bee. I got 16 energy. Considering I only had two bitter berries, it's better than nothing. I think the next best course of action for me is to buy a better backpack. I cannot afford something like the porcelain backpack, and I'm not that rich yet, but something like the blue or red porta hive, it's perfect. It gives me a lot more capacity and a lot more attention. You know, the choice between the two backpacks is pretty difficult. I can't decide myself once more. Only time to ping another 20,000 people to help me decide again. It's a little tied right now. But blue backpack is slowly winning. Oh yeah, now it's got double the votes as red backpack. I got it, okay, I'm gonna buy the blue backpack. It was nice not getting bullied in beast form. Those days are over. Bam! Play the dramatic music. And I've got myself a little more capacity. Was it worth it? I don't know, probably not. But since I got the blue backpack and I seen the endgame player with Dark Scythe, I have to ask the question, <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'm, I'm very embarrassed asking for meteors with this color of backpack on. Back to my blue backpacker segregation. Sparkles, never miss out on the opportunity. And I got myself another badge. So slay. Dude, something I've never done inside of this video is the ant challenge. I've had 25 bees for a while, but I've just been scared because I don't want to die. But I've got to risk it for the ant amulet. All right, I've got to survive for 20 more seconds and I ain't trying to die. So got to try hard here. Oh, I almost took damage. Oh my gosh. Yo, literally dodging every single lawnmower. But I survived! Let's go! And I got a silver ant amulet for 47th score. We've gone from begging for meteor showers in English to begging for meteor showers in Portuguese. Google Translate. Maybe that'll convince him. Oh my gosh! Meteor shower! That's why you should learn multiple languages. To ask as many people as possible for a meteor shower. I don't even know the language. I just Google translated it, by the way. Wow, a legendary sprout. Where? Here, dandelion. That's a moon sprout. Breaking the hopes and dreams of eight-year-olds. My favorite activity. Looks like a legendary? Well, it's not. I've broken enough hopes and dreams of little children in day three. Let's go. The legendary sprout has been broken. And I'll see you guys in day four. My moon charms! Day 4 started out with a bang. I did a bunch of meteor showers and got a crap ton of honey. Then I leafed off some guy doing sprouts, which was amazing. And did some more meteors, nothing more to say. I've got a lot of honey, 
and a lot of badges. I've also got a few of these. And yeah, that's pretty much it. it. Brings me to a grand total of 120 tickets. And I also got a little bit of honey. And by a little bit, I mean 188 million. So I was thinking, do I buy the golden rake or do I buy the spark stuff for the extra comments? But you know what? I'm buying the porcelain dipper. Going straight from the honey dipper to the porcelain dipper. I also gotta use the sussy blender that seals all my tickets because I'm impatient and I speed things up just like now. See, so yeah, I needed one more enzyme for the beautiful and smexy beekeeper's mask. If I have defense, very cool stuff. Let's go. Dude, I actually look like a professional beast warmer right now. And we can also cop this belt. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't care. Let's buy it. And I'm broke. But this is gonna help me make honey back so much faster. I need the beekeeper's boots. Oil. Very impatient. I told you guys. This is how I am. And blue extract. So slay, as the kids would say. And let's buy the boots. Wait, I don't have honey. No! Wait, one last thing I remembered. Since I got my Honey Ace badge, I can go inside of this area and get myself a Star Jelly. This is perfect timing, since I have a cringe Rage Bee I can replace. Gifted Exhausted Bee. That is a scam. Just like Vitamin would say. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to completing 7 to 7. If you guys remember, Mother Bird told me she'll give me a Star Egg when I complete this. And from all the meteor showers I've been doing, I have a bunch of Neon Berries, which give really good bond. So let's just feed some of these to my bees. And it is level 7. Only two more bees I need to get to level 7. And then I can get my precious star egg. Only one more B? Which one will it be? Get it? B? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Hasty Bee's really close to being leveled up. Okay, that's the last one. I'll stop. Anyway, let's turn this into Mother Bear. Oh, I knew you could do it. Of course you did. Always believing in myself. A star egg always hatches into a gifted bee you don't already have. I'll believe it when I see it. So excited to see which one the star egg hatches into. Nice, let's go. What is this next quest that Mother Bear will give me? Will I suffer because of it? Probably. Three bees to level eight. Yeah, you know what? I'm already suffering just from looking at this quest, but I don't have anywhere to hatch this star egg. As promised, I got enough honey for the bee goopers boots, but I can also buy myself a hive slot and hatch the star egg. It's a very difficult choice. Obviously the boots. I've missed not being able to jump up anywhere. Yo, I have some more tickets to get. So rose, bamboo, and that's it. And I have myself 140 tickets. So poggers. Next thing I get shall be some more hive slots. My gear is way too good to only have 27 and bees. And I did a bit of off-camera grinding. I know grinding can get repetitive sometimes, so I spared you this suffering. Anyway, let's buy a few hive slots. My hive slots cost 14 million. The next one costs 24, 37, and I'm too poor to afford the next one. So I've got myself enough hive slots for 30 bees. So let's buy one egg, two egg, and I'm not sure if I want to buy a third. I do still have my star egg, but I'm wondering whether I should use it. Anyway, let's hatch the two basic bees for now and use some royal jelly on them. A lion bee, very cool. You know what? I'm gonna gamble. Just give me a legend. Legendary, please. A ninja bee? That is garbage. Another ninja bee? That is also garbage. Please stop giving me ninja bees. Bruh. No! I literally wasted all my royal jelly for three ninja bees. Okay, whatever. I'm using my star egg. I'm angry. Give me something good. Give me a mythic, please. Although I'm probably never gonna get a mythic from this. Oh my gosh, a gifted- what? Oh, what? I am so confused right now. I swear, I never knew you can get gifted basic bees from star eggs. I mean, technically, it's the kind of bee that I don't have. I don't know what happened. This is way too cursed. But hey, basic bee is probably one of the better bees I could have gotten. Times 1.2 pollen. Pretty slay, if you ask me. Oh, this video hurts me. Yeah, all my bees are high level now. If you consider level 5 to be high level. And anyway, the next thing we have to do is to go into the 30 bee area, which which I just unlocked. Let's run up in here, see what I get. Actually, I know what I'm gonna get. Another quest that's gonna cause me nothing but pain and suffering. Buy Papa on it. Whoa, whoa, you made it to the very top of the mountain. Yes, I did, Buckaroo. Give me search or anyone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is gonna be nothing but pain and suffering. But while I'm at it, let me just quickly grab 10 tickets. Wow, that's a lot. And let's also grab the broken drive. I've never actually seen this quest from Science Bear where you give him a broken drive. A broken drive seems peculiar. Yeah, it's not too difficult. But at the same time, do I really want to do it? Yes, I do, because I want to suffer. But for now, let's focus on Star Journey 1, the more important quest. Oh my goodness, day 5. Time goes by so quick when I'm playing Beast Form. Badges, you know how much I love them, and the free tickets that I get from them? 195, that is absolutely insane. I think I need some better guards, because right now I only have my single blue guard, and it's also pretty dog water if you ask me. So the elite blue guard isn't even that expensive. Same with the elite red guard. Although I am kinda poor and I have zero extracts, it's okay, I can craft more. But I need to buy some royal jelly. Oh my goodness, it's getting so expensive. 
But what can you do when life requires you? Oh, silver soakers. Okay, I gotta cop this as well. I need two red and blue extracts. So now that I have that, I can go ahead and craft my beautiful elite guards. Here it is. Wait, I don't even have honey. I can't just waste all my honey and then expect to be able to craft things. Very insightful, Yarix. Thank you. For the next while, I did meteors. Begging for meteors has never been easy. Then I spent half an hour killing the Mondo chick. And with the honey that I got from killing the Mondo chick, I bought a new hype slot. And the hatch the silver egg that I got from Panda Bear. You can probably tell I was pretty unhappy, but then I got rid of the bee regardless. I have accidentally been neglecting my moon charms like my dad has been neglecting me. So yeah, time to do a big moon charm spending spree. Uh, okay, so that is alright, and this is even better. Wow, white pollen and honey per pollen. Perfect. And 100k capacity. Beautiful. I've got honey for the guards. Time to be very defended. Oh, now my shoulders will look like a workout, even though I don't. Oh, the red guard looks so cool. And so does the blue guard. It even even matches my belt. Oh no, I have finally proven that I have zero life. Playtime badge! One day and 55 minutes I've played. And some flower badge. Give me tickets. I almost have enough for my second event bee. There are so many tickets around the map that I have not collected. I think if I explore, I should be able to get enough to buy my event bee. Okay, I see some tickets over there. This is the ultimate scavenger hunt. Five tickets. Hog. Oh, I see some tickets over there. I gotta grab them. Three tickets. Okay, that is kind of scam. I was hoping for more. I see some tickets over there. All right, let's jump on this rock and now go down to the rock below me. How many tickets is this? Five. So, Pog. Wait, I only need two more. Wait, I know. I just unlocked the honey storm. So, this is gonna be my first time using it. And maybe I can get two more tickets from my event bee. Come on, on it. Please give me tickets. I don't see any. Okay, here's one. I literally only need one more. Please, big scary sir, give me a ticket. Yes, let's go. Werewolf gave me a whole three tickets. And that's enough to buy the Crimson Bee Egg. But wait, I don't have a hive slot for this. How much are hive slots anyway? With inflation, the prices must be really high. Oh no. no. I need this hive slot and I need my Crimson Bee. Well, you know what time it is. Whenever I need honey, I beg for meteors. Okay, that should be a good amount of honey. Surprisingly, begging for meteors is a pretty good strategy of getting honey fast. But anyway, let's buy this hive slot. Investing further into my suffering. So, Pog. And now, let's go into the ticket tent and buy myself the Crimson Bee Egg. Let's go! And now, let's put it right next to its brother, the Cobalt Bee. Let's go, dude! My second event bee of the video! So, Pog. Oh, and I also have a Star Jelly. You know what, Commander Bee? I'm sorry. You're gonna have to go. I give it to Brave Bee! No! Okay, that is absolute garbage. The worst trash I've ever seen. But anyway, let's level up my Crimson Bee. Maybe I can give it a mutation. Let's see. Please don't steal all my bitter berries. I'm just gonna do all. 21 gather mount. Okay, I'm happy with that. And while I'm here, I might as well finish the science bear quest. You can never have enough convert amount. Oh, science bear. What kind of goodies will you give me? Oh. Day 5 was short, but a lot was accomplished. See you guys day 6. One more! Yes! Dude, this stupid freaking quest took me so long, it's crazy. Especially the haste tokens. And that's why if you look at my hive, you might see five hasty bees. Amazing start for day six, so let's see what Ana gives me. Beastworm Simulator is my first Roblox game. Congratulations, on it, Bro, that sucks. I wanna be straight up with you, on it For hours of grinding, five million honey and 25 jelly? That is terrible. Oh, no. On it, the scam artist. Making me suffer. Maybe if I make a 100 days video, I'll complete this. Okay, let's go back to my hive and fix it. Because this is a monstrosity. I do not need this many hasty bees. Okay, lion. I'm gonna keep that for now because I don't have anything better. Music bee. Nice. Demon. That is complete dog water. Carp. Nice. Wait, I've literally unlocked every single type of legendary bee. Time to spawn the supreme sprout, which I probably never will. Okay, rare sprout. Close enough. By the end of the seven days, I want to unlock 35 bees. So that is what I'm going to grind towards. You know what my preferred strategy of getting honey is? Begging for meteors. 
Even if I don't need honey, I love begging for meteors. Oh, free badge. What is this? Spider. Free tickets? Don't mind me. Bruh. Did a bit of off-camera suffering. I mean a little bit of off-camera grinding. Same thing. And let's see how many of these hive slots I can buy. So I can afford one and two and I'm broke. And this one will cost 209 million. Well I can't I don't have that just yet, but soon I will. Trust me, bro. Oh, Puller Bear Quest, let's turn this in. Sir, sir, sizzle, sizzle, can I get a pollen only quest, please? Oh, yeah, no. Why does Onnit want to make me suffer so bad? Anyway, we need to buy a basic egg right here. We need to buy two, actually. So let's hatch one and another. Bam, what's a rad bee? Now I gotta level this stuff up and use a bit of jelly on this. Please give me some good bees. Music, nice, I'm keeping that for sure. Another music. I don't really think I need a fire bee, so goodbye, sir. Sorry you're getting deported to whatever realm you go to after i use the royal jelly on you bro okay i'm stuck with a stupid looker bee i'll get rid of it soon trust and i am only one hive slot away from 35 bees oh ability badge very cool i had a plan to do a big boost in this video and that's what day six is gonna be there are two codes that i'm gonna use for this beautiful boost one of them is five years which gives me wolf clock super smoothie and honey day for two days this is insane and the second code i'm gonna use is weak extension which gives me strawberry times three and times 10 strawberry ones. So I'm starting off at 72 million honey, and let's see how much honey I can make with this. Yeah, let's pop a marshmallow bee. I have way too many of them anyway. It might have been smart to buy the porcelain backpack, but when it comes to bee storm, I'm not that intelligent sometimes. All right, the boost is over, and I made a crap ton of honey. Mother chick, can you just please shut up? I'm tired of hearing the go, go, go. That's how I think mother chick sounds. Anyway, let's buy my 35th hive slot. Actually, before I do that, I have a bunch of badges. So, oh my gosh, 1 billion honey. That's how little of a life I have. Goo badge and strawberry ace badge. And now let's buy this. Now let's buy this hive slot, which will only bring me more suffering because I unlocked the 35B area. I once more go to the basic egg dispenser. And I'm about to hatch my 31st bee yes let's go in the area which will only make me suffer more the first thing i want to do is go inside the secret room behind the petal because here is a star jelly i have zero royal jelly and one star jelly makes sense so now maybe if i go back to my hive i will get something that is not a dupe please don't give me a dupe no bro i already have a looker bee why why do you do this to me game bear bear i'm gonna talk to you in just a second there's a 25 million memory match maybe i can get 25 jellies you know anything from here will be insane okay tropical drink 25 jelly right there oh oh treats okay i need that hey at least i got the treats i think that's like 25 million honey worth of treats that i got there oh i can level up my first bee to level eight Okay, let's do it. Only cost 3,000 treats. And there you go. All my treats, they're gone. They disappeared like my dad going to get milk. I think it's worth it if I complete this next mother bear quest. 1,000 treats are only like 10 million honey. I can get that really easily. Yeah, that's why I spent my life savings on treats just now. So I gotta find bees that I need to level up. In a world where treats are incredibly hard to get, I gotta level up the bee that is closest to being level 8. Or the coolest. Being a bee that's really cool, I'm just gonna do spicy bee. Yeah, level 8. Very pog. And the carpenter bee. I barely have enough to buy it. But there we go, Mother Bear's midterm. I've raised three bees to level eight. So now I have to feed 30 pineapples, strawberries, and blueberries. Nice. What will Mother Bear give me for her midterm? Fantastic job. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Now that you have a gifted bee, you should check out the Star Hall. Oh, I forgot about the Star Hall. Okay, for once, Mother Bear advice is incredibly useful. I've had five gifted bee types for so long, and I still haven't got myself a bronze star amulet. Well, thanks for reminding me, Mother Bear. No! Why? Why do you make me suffer so much? I hate that bear. I have nine gifted bee types. Wow, that is insane. But for now, I'm just gonna buy the bronze star amulet. That is complete dog water. Wow. Okay, whatever. Better than not. Nothing. The capacity will be useful. It's nighttime, and I have 201 moon charms. Let's cop the moon amulet once. Very cool. And twice. You know, pollen from tools, 24 white pollen. Very nice. I do get a lot of pollen from my tools, so that's gonna be helpful. Oh, here to yoink your moon charm. Sorry, child. Goodbye now. I'm mentally preparing myself for the fight that I will have with Tunnel Bear on day 7. Yeah, that's when I'm gonna do it. So be ready, guys. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> Thank you.
And that brings me to day 7. The long-awaited ending to this whole movie, if I can even call it that. I can say that without a doubt, I've accomplished much more than I was hoping. And considering this whole video is done by hand and I haven't macroed, I'm impressed with myself. So I think that's how I'm gonna keep playing. Anyway, for day 7, I'm gonna treat you guys to my own suffering. So for day 7, I'm gonna finish Spirit Bearer's first quest. Now in retrospect, it doesn't seem too difficult, but to a little blue backpacker noob like me, this is just straight up suffering and nothing else. Some endgame noob is AFKing in the mountain field, and I need 50 million pollen from here, so that's probably gonna help. I literally got like 1 million pollen in 2 seconds. I think the thing that's gonna take the most amount of time is literally running back and forth between the top field and my hive. Between the top field and my hive. <laughs> Only half an hour of suffering, not even that long for mountaintop field. Didn't even take that long. Anyway, next thing I need to do is probably dandelion and also get goo. The game gives me dandelion field boost, I'll be really happy. Yes! I don't know why I got that excited over a field boost. Maybe because it's gonna make my life easier by three times? I feel like anyone in my position would be as well. Oh, and let's do some gumdrops because I get a crap ton of goo because my field boost. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. I don't think I'll even have to spend that much time here. I can probably even finish the white pollen. Okay, on one backpack, I got a third of the dandelion and a third of the goo. I'm wasting tickets on the instant converter. I don't even care at this point. Just get me done. Uh, I want to be finished with this painful quest. That makes me suffer. All right, so another pretty painful part of the quest is done. So now the only thing that's left for me to do is white pollen and get some sunflower seeds. I'm going to clutter this field. I don't want to lose the times three field boost. One second. Oh my gosh, literally last second, I got the times four. I want to finish this quest right now. All right, that should be enough white pollen. Next thing I need to do, the last thing I need to do, in fact, is get some sunflower seeds. So I've been saving up my sprouts. I don't want to go around begging. I've done enough of that, so maybe four sprouts will be enough. Okay, it's a basic one. Let's see how many sunflower seeds I can get from this. There are, in fact, a lot of sunflower seeds inside of sunflower field. Big surprise there. I'm actually getting quite a good amount. Okay, let's use another sprout. It's another basic one. Cringe. I only have two more sprouts. I cannot afford to waste this opportunity. Okay, over halfway there. Uh, come on, sprout. Please give me a bunch of sunflower seeds. I'm begging you. Right? Right, so like 15 more. Oh my goodness. I think I'm actually gonna do it. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Sunflower seeds are complete. And now I'm gonna grind a dandelion again. Speaking of dandelion, I think I have a certain badge for a certain field. Yeah, dandelion. Beautiful. Only 500,000 more white pollen. And then this monstrosity of a quest will be done. Okay, 300,000 more. 200,000. 100,000. And let's go. Spirit, spirit starter is done. Probably the most difficult quest I've done so far. Spirit bear, yawn. Not in the honey pot. Okay, I'm not reading all this. You look so familiar. Your bees. No, they don't look that familiar. Okay. Um, okay, let's go. 25 million honey, one glitter, one micro, and 10 royal jellies. <laughs> Did I mention 25 million honey for hours of suffering? Anyway, what is this next quest? Which I will do probably in the 100 days series, which I don't know if I'll even do. Anyway, I'm talking too much. And yeah, no, I don't think I'm doing that anytime soon. As promised, the final final boss in this video is gonna be the tunnel bear. I'm not sure what level he is. I think it's like level 7, so he's not that difficult to defeat. But I'm gonna spend all my honey on trees and maybe even complete a mother bear quest. That would be pretty pog. Anyway, where is my hive? Here it is with my beautiful mythic bee. Okay, Riley bee's awfully close to being level 8. So this will only cost like 30 million honey. That's pretty good. Nice. Demon bee is also rather close. Only like 4,000. Nice. I've got enough for only one more bee. Which bee will it be? I promised I would stop doing bee puns earlier, but I lied. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have believed me. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> I, sexy bee. I mean, honey bee. Going up to level 8. And to finish this beautiful quest, which is raise 8 bees to level 8, I only need to get one more bee to level 8. But I don't have treats, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to go all out and use my other resources. Yeah, low key, Hasty Bee's the closest. So I'm gonna feed it the rest of my treats. And now I'll feed it all my bitter berries. And I also have a bunch of these neon berries. So it's time to make my hive like Chernobyl radioactive. Beam, beam. All right, so it has 42,000 bond. This is a slow process, but I will prevail. 51,000? 58,000? Like two more neon berries, and the bee should be leveled up. One more. Yes! And to finish the quest, I need to feed 100 sunflower seeds to my bees. Yo, Ninja Bee, go gifted. I know you never will, so why am I even asking? Oh, my prediction was right. Anyway, 8 to 8 is complete. Let's go, Mother Bear. What will you give me? Will you give me a star treat? Please. Two more and I get a star treat? No! Okay, you know what? Whatever. What is this quest? Raise three bees to level 9? Yeah, that's... 
that's not happening today. But as promised, I will fight the almighty tunnel bear. The only thing I need in my inventory is my singers. My emergency only whirly gig if things go to hell. So if I have to get out of here and I cannot teleport using that circle thing, I'm gonna use the whirly gig. So anyway, let's just jump in here. And tunnel bear, I hope you will be defeated very soon, my friend. This tall creature has spawned and I only have two and a half minutes to kill him. I'm not sure if I'll even be able to do it. Please. Wait, he's level nine. I thought he was like level seven. I feel betrayed, honestly. Oh, come on, tunnel bear. Please die. I couldn't do it, you guys. And I'm coming up on the end of the tunnel. I'll kill him in the 100 days video. Since I'm coming up on the end and I cannot teleport with that circle thing, we're gonna have to whirly get out of here. Yeah, emergency rescue mission was complete. I feel like for only seven days of playtime, I made a crap ton of progress. I got 35 bees. I completed a spirit bear quest. I got most of my bees to level seven and eight. I also got two event bees and one mythic. Man, a gifted basic bee. Also smexy. So if you enjoyed watching this video and you made it to the end, drop a like and subscribe. It really does help support me. 10,000 likes and I will do a 100 day series. Now IRL days, probably Beast Swarm days because this was IRL days. I don't think I would survive 100 days IRL playing Beast Swarm every single day. Man, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.